All right, let's talk about pass protection in Madden 24. This is out of any playbook that you're in. It doesn't matter what playbook you're in. You can apply this to any formation pretty much. Um, and especially shotgun. If you have a back in the backfield, this could be really helpful for you. Now, I actually have a whole ebook uh, teaching different or pass protection kind of mini ebook that teaches how to block every blitz in depth and understanding how the blitzes actually work because we also have a blitzing ebook that teaches why the blitzes are uh, the way that they are. So if you want to check that out, that's going to be in the Patreon. 10 bucks gets you access to everything over there. We've got over 15 different offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as numerous updates. We've dropped a ton of updates this week over on the Patreon. So if you want to get better at Madden, join the Patreon. It's only 10 bucks, and I guarantee it's going to make you a better player. So let's talk about pass protection. And basically, here's what we're going to do. Uh, I'm going to start with the base blitz that everybody runs, which is 3-3 three, three cut. We dropped it the first, uh, like, 10 minutes the game was out uh, in our 3-3 cup defensive ebook. But basically, what you want to do is you just want to block your running back. Now, it's really important to understand how this game works in terms of like when you can set up adjustments and stuff like that. You can actually slide and block a running back right out of the huddle. So you can set up your pass protection first before you set up your routes, which I would recommend doing. So you see here, this is basically the, the standard way people like to run the splits. And you're going to get a gap pressure if I send five receivers out on a route. So the easiest way to block this blitz is we are simply going to, I'm going to still keep my user down here. We're going to slide our line away from the running back. We're going to block the running back and we're going to ID the corner that is on the right side. And what you'll see is this blitz will get blocked and then we will get crazy shedded because practice mode is goaded. But you see there, we're able to block the blitz. And that's the main, the main piece of this. Now you can set up route combos, obviously, if you want to. Uh, to, to, of course, beat the blitz, and I'll show you know that real quick. So a lot of people right now, with they're blitzing out of main coverage. Um, and, and obviously, that's probably the best way to blitz. So slide, protect, away from the running back, block the running back, and then you can ID either the linebacker, the slot corner, or the outside corner. I tend to like to ID the slot corner, um, but this is basically the idea. And you'll see, blitz gets picked up, and then if you have good routes on the field, you're going to be able to uh, beat the blitz just like that, all right? So now let's take it up a notch and go to dollar and understand how the dollar blitz works. A lot of people like to blitz out a dollar this year. And the best way to blitz out a dollar, <coughs> excuse me, is going, <coughs> excuse me, been uh, battling a little bit of a cold. <coughs> the best way to uh, blitz out a dollar is going to be to utilize uh, a pinch alignment, in my opinion. And so what you're going to see here, and I'll show you a couple different variations of blitzes from dollar as well. So let me just pick any play with running back on route. Okay, so the way people like to blitz out a dollar is basically this. Um, and then they're going to stand about right here. And they're going to, you know, essentially get pressure off of one of the edges. Another way that people like to blitz out a dollar is through utilizing this linebacker loop, uh, which we, we actually posted that as well uh, in our blitzing ebook. And what you'll see is this will typically loop around the edge, as you can see right there. Okay, so two different ways they can blitz from dollar, but the same pass protection is going to work for both blitzes, which is why this is such a good um, pass protection system. So we're going to stand right here and hover in the gap to take to set the splits up. All we're going to do is we're going to slide away from the running back, lock the running back, and you're going to ID the slot corner. And what you'll see is the, bl the blitz is going to get picked up, step up in the pocket, and make a read and have somebody wide open. Very simple pass protection formula. Now, this also works for, um, you know, the loop, bl loop blitz. So, I'm going to move this guy here. Stand here with my user to hover in the gap. Same basic principle. Again, I always want to ID to the right. And it communicates to the running back. You've got to pick up anybody that comes from the left, which he does. And then, obviously, we're getting shedded. But that's Madden 24 right now. Okay? So, that's the idea. And that's how you pick up the dollar blitzing uh, that people will do. Now, last formation that I want to talk about is, I think, probably the most, um, I don't know, like ran formation after the MCS. A lot of people saw Dubby uh, run the nickel 3-3. We've got a full nickel 3-3 ebook in the Patreon. Um, but basically the idea here is utilizing this nickel blitz zero. And we're going to try to send heavy pressure. Now, uh, the six-man... Part of what makes this blitz really good, honestly, is the fact that you're sending six, okay? You're not sending five, you're sending six. So if I only send five here, I'm going to put this guy in his zone. If I only send five at the quarterback, it's the same pass protection. So slide right, block, ID corner, snap the ball, and you see we're able to block uh, block the blitz, okay? For the most part, we're able to hang 
and we're able to block the bullets. I'll show it again. Obviously, you're going to get shedded in practice mode, so just kind of keep that in mind. Um, but, you know, this is pretty much the setup that uh, w uh, used to beat Decroft in the winning and end game. And uh, obviously, it was, you know, pretty cool that he made it, but you see right there. And the only reason that's happening is just because the user um, is, is coming all the way in. That wouldn't happen if the user worked out. So let me just put the user on his own here. Um, like so. Okay, there we go. So this pass protection formula, pretty simple, and it applies to pretty much every meta blitz right now, as you can see. Even though we're still getting crazy shedded because 3-3 three, three is, is goaded, but you see the idea. Okay. So, um, so now what we want to do is talk about the sixth man, which I think is the reason that makes this specific defense the one that really gives people the most problems from a pass protection uh, setup. But as you can see here, we're able to pretty much block it. The only thing that's really happening is we're just getting shedded consistently. So and you want to just set up a quick man beating route combo, uh, which could be honestly something as simple as double drags and a, a streak corner on the right. So something simple like that. I'm going to send six. And uh, we'll, we'll drop our user out into you know coverage, of course. So we're going to block a running back, slide right, boom, boom. And you see, able to pick up the blitz. And if you pick up this kind of blitz, you're going to have a big play ahead of you because you're going to have wide open routes everywhere. So this is how I like to pick up all the meta blitzes right now in Madden 24. I want to do a quick video for you on this. If you want to learn more about this stuff, join the Patreon. Um, it's where you get access to everything, all of our eBooks, everything. We, we dropped a ton of updates, over 15 different offensive and defensive eBooks right now in the Patreon for you guys. You can sign up by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.